Hey, this is Anthony from Zillow. We watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Outback pants available at RevZilla.com. There has been an Outback jacket in the Revit collection for years. I'm thinking like 2008. The current iteration is the Outback 2. This is now the first time we're seeing an Outback pant. And where the Outback pant plays in the Revit collection for spring of 17 is a big leap forward over something like the Factor, which is going to be a Z-liner, meaning that waterproof breathability is non-removable, but it doesn't vent to the body. But this is gonna be a baby brother, in my opinion, to something like the Horizon 2 or the Sand 3. And really what you're getting is four season functionality, a full waterproof breathable removable liner, a fully thermal, a full thermal liner that is again separate and removable, but you're getting basic CE level one protection, a little bit lighter weight material. So you're using a poly, you're getting in the, in the outer shell. You do have the Dobby reinforcement at the knees, but it's not CE level one armor compared to the Horizon 2 or Sand 3, which would really use that CE level two C-Flex. Keep that in mind. It is nice to see C-Smart in the, in the hips though. Again, completing the CE level one theme. I'll also say for summertime riding, you do have these big vents here along the sides. They're not as big as, as the pants that you step up into, the horizon or sand but again you are getting that four season functionality and that's really how they've designed the outback which is going to be a sub 300 dollars multi-season multi-purpose pant that's not meant to be boring but it's not overly aggressive or adventure either when you step up you're getting beefier bomb more bomb proof materials now quick note on sizing hive is brian to my left six foot 195 42 inch chest 35 belly button waist, 33 jeans waist. Using the size chart, he's in a large regular. And I say large regular because they're shorts and tall sizes. So it'd be large standard or large regular. You'd have your large short and your large tall. And again, what happens with the shorts and talls is the uh, ratio changes a little bit, but the inseam actually grows or shrinks. So again, couple that with adjustability in the knee armor and you have the ability to fine tune a pant that everything's in the right place, including the armor, when you're in the riding position and it's comfortable and you don't have extra material because remember, you're not really hemming these. So again, use that size chart. We'll ship for free over 39 bucks. I love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Outback pant from Revit. Now, diving into some of the nuances. We talked about the poly shell. If you went to that Horizon or Revit Sand 3, it's gonna be much more beefy and bomb proof. The Revit Sand 3 has a similar configuration Two drop liners, waterproof and thermal, but it uses lots of ripstop. Keep that in mind, much more aggressive and beefy. Hi, is Brian. Show them the slide lock system from YKK. Now, I'm a huge fan of this technology. Notice it's a zipper fly, but slide lock means it's not gonna burst on you, but ultimately show them how it snaps in positively. So it slides and it snaps, so you know it's closed and it won't come undone. That's a nice touch. Staying up here at, at, the, at the top of the pant, you have adjustability in the belt that's baked in. You don't have to have a secondary belt. Horizontal pocket, and then moving down, these are waterproof pockets with a snap and notice that they're even covering it off so that it's not going to get any water but I will tell you that compared to the Horizon or those Revit Sand 3 pants these are very small vents they're still vents they're still going to give you airflow in the summer but this is like an old school style Revit vent you need to invest in that next level if you want to have dramatically different airflow now we've talked about the CE rated Knox armor at the knee slightly down the sh down the shin again it's a smaller piece of armor than that C-Flex which is fully encompassing on that next level up but again it is slightly adjustable now turn and face away from their HEB. We look at the side, big cargo pockets. We've already talked about the waist adjustability on the way up there. And if you work your way down towards the bottom of the pant, you're going to see that it opens and that will expose our waterproof breathable liner, our thermal liner on the inside. Notice it's two cir circumferential zippers and they are offset in the direction they go so it's easier to find them. And the inside of this pant is just gonna be a basic mesh. So if you have the vents open, you have the liners out in the summertime riding, it's gonna be comfortable against your skin. Turn backwards from there, HEB. If we look at the back, what this pant also doesn't get is a 270 degree zipper. It has a short connection zipper. It has light stretch above the backside. And if you work down, you even have your butt gripper panels, which again, aid in not sliding around, sitting on the seat, when it's wet if you're going for a longer distance ride. Again, another tactile area for response. Come back around to the front for me. So remember, full sleeve thermal removable, full sleeve waterproof breathable liner coming in just under the $300 mark. But again, taking a slight step back in protection and ruggedness off of what we see in the higher end, which would either use Gore-Tex on the breathability standpoint or really move into those next generation CE level two armors as well as the bomb proofedness of the materials. This is gonna be the Outback. We're a fan of where it comes in. Ultimately, in my opinion, if you're already gonna spend just under $300, spend just over $300, take that leap up and get the full range because you will never, 
ever regret spending a little bit more on protection if you happen to get yourself into a sticky situation. Now, the next step in your journey is to click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device, visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com, read writer reviews, not just my opinion of the new Revit Outback. You should not just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us, RevZilla, on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. That's High Fashion Brian. We'll see you next time.